What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Saw X in this video here again today. Going over a sequel or previous entry, I guess, that kind of foreshadows what we seem to be getting in Saw X. We know we just recently got the official first look at what could be an image of John Tobin Bell back in the iconic role in the upcoming trailer a couple of days ago. We know the movie's been pushed up to now release earlier on September 29th instead of October. And like I stated over on my Twitter account, according to Saw Space, who is a trusted Saw insider over on the Saw subreddit and over on Twitter, we are getting the trailer and the first poster sometime next week. So I want to touch on this scene in Saw 6 that seems to be foreshadowing what we're going to have happen in Saw X. And yes, Saw Space was who directed me to revisiting this scene. And it's like, aha, that's where we got the idea from Saw X from. Because there's a scene in Saw 6 where John goes to this high executive for his insurance company. I think their name was like William Easton. But anyway, we know Dr. Gordon initially tells John that his tumor was inoperable. But despite this, John kept looking for a solution and wanted to try out an experimental treatment of sorts, kind of like what he seems to be doing in Saw X. He wanted to try this out from a guy in Norway who thought that John would be a good candidate. John's coverage request for his insurance to cover it kept being denied, so he goes to see William in person, which ultimately ends in his request still being denied. Now, Norway, of course, isn't Mexico, but John searching for a potential solution treatments couldn't have been limited to just Norway. And of course, Saw X will show us this. The most disturbing installment, as described in the synopsis of the Saw franchise for Saw X, explores the untold chapter of Jigsaw's most personal game. Set between the events of Saw and Saw 2, a sick and desperate John travels to Mexico for a risky and experimental medical procedure in hopes of a miracle cure for his cancer, only to discover the entire operation is a scam to defraud the most vulnerable. Armed with a newfound purpose, the infamous serial killer returns to his work, turning the tables on the con artist in his signature visceral way through devious, deranged, and ingenious traps. Now, here's my question. Why didn't John pursue the Norway scheme? I'm expecting Saw X to provide an answer to that. Maybe he, maybe he knew this was fraudulent because I can say this. As smart as John has been presented in this franchise, it is a little ridiculous that he fell for something like this going on in mexico but maybe his hope got the best of him maybe his hope clouded his better judgment now saw space official over on reddit a couple days back said that this upcoming film is more for the fans of the series and not for non-saw fans as opposed to i guess what jigsaw might have been for and recently spiral more than anything um he, he says that well from those comments what i take is that this is a film appealing to someone like myself and many others who grew up with yearly Saw releases being a part of our childhood, watching them, going to school, chatting about the movies with your friends, that type of stuff. If you had memories like that growing up like I did. And then on another comment about Saw X, over, still over on the Saw subreddit, Saw Space responded to someone who had their doubts about the upcoming film because it's coming from the team who, from their perspective, and I know a lot of other people think, think that Spiral and jigsaw were disappointments those two people being josh stolberg and peter goldfinger now they said this in response to why they should have some hope still for saw x or why saw x could still end up being one of the best they started working on this in 2018 five years to perfect the script with regular input from tobin and kevin which was always going to be kramer centric so this was always going to be a a, a kramer centric story they said that I personally know that Josh is a massive fan of the original trilogy, but was bound by various parameters where they wanted to distance the story for the reboots from the OG7. Now that this sits firmly as an integral between one and two, it can be allowed to fit perfectly in the original timeline. This one is for the fans, whereas the last two were an attempt to appeal to a wider audience. Now it's back to what we know and love. I don't doubt that this is going to be a great inclusion to the franchise with some surprises thrown in for good measure. Now, Saw Space seems to have a pretty good understanding of the plot and the way they talk about the plot or lack thereof, even though it's very minimal of what they're saying, they seem to have very good confidence in this product, which makes me even more curious as to as to seeing the reception that this film gets. 
Uh, knowing that they've been working on for some time is believable because I know that they also came out recently and said that Saw X was supposed to be Saw 9 before Spiral was even a thing. So we know that to be true from the crew that we all know officially involved with the projects. So we'll just have to wait and see how Saw X lives up to expectations or doesn't live up to expectations because Saw Space seems very confident in it. I know they've already seen the trailer. They've already seen the poster. They seem to think that both of those are great. Uh, the trailer again is somewhere between two minutes and 30 seconds so we have a lot to look forward to next week that apparently will showcase billy the puppet some traps we'll get to see john kramer and maybe some cameos as well which also is coming from a poll over on saw space's twitter page where he highlighted that anybody who voted all of the above just might get their wish so that was very telling especially knowing that this person has already seen the trailer we'll just have to wait and see what saw x has cooked up for us i mostly want to talk about that foreshadowing bit and how it seems they took something from saw six and fleshed out an entire story for a prequel which is kind of unique uh or kind of an interesting way to take us back and having john alive by exploring him pursuing one of these schemes or quote-unquote treatments he was after desperate for i guess you could also say let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video